So, scene seven. Uh, Montek, excellent unbuttoning of your jacket. I really enjoyed that. I saw you. It was so purposeful. I, I see you. I see you. <laughs> excellent. You let us know you were thinking. I really, really like that. I really, really like that. I, I... I'm Sheldon Parthundil, and I'm director for Sock and Buskin's new production of Fahrenheit 451. Well, uh, the show essentially um, takes place in a futuristic dystopian society, and it follows a fireman named Guy Montag. He's, he's become so desensitized to this destruction of huge amounts of knowledge, where you know whole books which are deemed subversive are, are thrown away, and, and whole sections are, are, are redacted. Uh, I really like um, physical theater. My background is in mime and commedia dell'arte. Um, so a lot of the physical elements and playing around with the choreography of things is, is, is stuff that I really, really enjoy. And, and yeah, all in all, um, these sorts of large socio-political messages and allegorical elements, I, I really love bringing that sort of imagery to audience. But like the last two scenes of the show um, make me very emotional. <laughs> Um, there is a like a little bit of a, of a standoff between Professor Faber, Chief Beatty, and Guy Montag, and they're kind of like it, it's like almost like a triangular duel, and it's just it's a beautiful scene to watch. When people end up in these sorts of situations of oppression where citizens can't speak anymore, we are reminded with Fahrenheit 451 that that comes from citizens. That comes from people and it comes from their mentalities. The government and citizens are not these two separate things. You know, the citizens play an active role in what, in what happens at, at those higher levels. It's really kind of a show for all seasons and it's something that will leave you thinking. Um, it is a show that will touch you deeply and it will give you a lot to process heading out. And that's really what theater should be about.